Nachos and fried Oreos. You just type in the title. Alright, chat. Nachos. And fried Oreos. Has anyone ever had nachos and fried Oreos before? What did you think? Infinite lives? Yes. Please. Is it actually? Bro, this is this is this is like meant to be. One summer day, a chief challenged Mario to defeat his castle without gaming over in exchange for unlimited nachos and fried Oreos. Hell yeah! I don't- I feel like it would be amazing. Mother 3 music! Peener wiener music! Good old peener wiener. You don't like mixing sweet, sweet and salty? Yo, Yoshi's house got a makeover. In this mode, you have unlimited lives. Explore this dangerous world without ever getting a game over. Good. You feel a dark presence hovering just out of reach. Try coming back on a harder mode. Am I not allowed to beat the full game? I'm too much of a punk. Alright, the rainbow shoe. Are you ever playing on pussy mode? True, but you know what? That gives me incentive to play this again. Each level is a moon and five dragon coins. Collecting them will grant you a regular reward based on your current difficulty. <laughs> this is gonna be a fucking giant fuck you. It's a giant middle finger. I'm assuming you have to get them on a harder mode. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. We cool. We cool. We cool. Ah! We're not cool. Wish I had some of that fucking... What's that drink called? Some Travis Scott piss? Is that what it was called? Cacti? Yeah! I remember right when you posted it. What's it called? Cactus piss? Uh, 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 uh. Oh! I almost... Fuck myself. I will say, I feel like you can see the difference in my in my playing between when I was on the SNES Classic or the SNES Mini or whatever you want to call it, versus me on the Super NT. Cause I feel like i I'm able to do a lot of the more precise shit, like more, just better. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm getting out of these like harder situations better. It's probably also just because I've played so many of these hacks now. Like, we're almost in the double digits. But it's fun, though. I like it. Alright. Oh! Travis Scott making bank on everything. What, Fortnite, McDonald's, fucking, probably some other dumb shit I don't even know of. I still remember the weirdest thing was the Run the Jewels. Who's like, they're like a rap group. 
uh, Killer Mike in what ELP? They uh, they were in Gears of War four. That's an like, unlockable skin or some shit. We had to buy them. I was like, of all the games I'd want to be in, I don't know if I'd want to be in Gears of War. Cause that game is literally just getting your ass fucking chainsawed in half. And like being in a post-apocalyptic fucking war zone. Like, bro, I wouldn't want to live in that kind of world. Fuck that. I know it's not reality. But you know what I'm saying. Of course, my favorite thing ever, not a lot of people seem to know this, but back in the day of uh, Nintendo Power, which was that magazine you'd subscribe to, sure everyone had a, got an issue or something, if you were from the 90s or 80s or whatever. But, uh... Ooh. No! I got, I got tripped out. It totally dipped me out. So Nintendo Power had a contest when Super Metroid was about to come out, and they were like, hey, you can totally win a chance to get to be in Super Metroid. And if you didn't know, uh, or you probably do know, in A Link to the Past, there is a secret bonus room that you actually get by making the game glitch out, by either like overloading the RAM or doing a very specific sequence. Um, and basically, basically you just go from the, the Sanctuary to the Hyrule Castle Sewer. And you, like, get there every time. Uh, and basically, what it, what it does is... Put you in a room called the Chris Houlihan Room. And basically, that guy won a contest in Nintendo Power. And... He got to be in A Link to the Past. And... Imagine getting to be in A Link to the Past, and you're in a secret room that no one even knows exists... Until, like, ten years later. Um... And then, they did one for- then, back to my original story with Super Metroid. Uh, when they were gonna do the Super Metroid contest, they were like, yo, you get to be in the game. And, uh, also in, with the Chris Wheel, the hand room, there's actually a thing, you check it, and it's like, this is my secret room, like, keep it a secret between us, okay? And there's all- it says his name and everything. I can even show it to you. Like, I can bust out the cartridge right now, and we can- I can show you. But, uh... And it's on every copy, like, if you have. If, it, if you have a link to the past, you can go check out the Chris Houlihan room. So anyways, the Super Metroid person, they won the contest. And you know when you're playing Super Metroid, if you ever played the game, when you're on the way to go see Kraid, uh, you know how there's that soldier lying there covered in bugs? Who's like getting eaten, and then they all the bugs like fly away, and you see like this dead guy chilling there? Like right in front of the boss room? Right in front of Kraid's boss room? Literally, that's the guy who won the contest. Like he got to be the dead marine. I got fucking eaten by the bugs. <laughs> so I don't know who got fucked over more. Chris Houlihan. At least Chris Houlihan, it says his name. So if someone actually found it, like it's actually like, you know what I mean? It says his name. But the Super Metroid guy just, he got to be the dead soldier. In this world, you'll be unable to pause if you're already jumping, swimming, or climbing. I thought I couldn't pause. That's interesting. Hey, you totally can't pause while jumping. Also, shout out to Yoshi's Island. Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, 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 I thought I was good. You look like we were good. And then we weren't. A mouth full of cactus. A ca ca cactus. Okay, we can spin, we can spin jump off them, but not when he's shooting. But the shot seems to hurt us. But the actual guy seems to be good. I swear some levels are just spin jump levels. Whee! Whoa! I forgot! Okay, we're good. We're just gonna chill. Yo, we got this, we got this! Oh, I got clipped. Nice. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. The right game. Ah. Ah. Oh, I thought he was going to spit like normal for some reason. Like, I thought he was going to do like a normal shot. 
I don't know why. Just years of playing Mario. Uh oh. We gotta try and keep the mushroom. Try and keep the mush. Uh, uh, uh. I'm surprised it's just using the OG Mario song. I actually didn't even really realize. It's been so long since I've heard this fucking song. I'm not even mad. <laughs> the one time I'm not mad, there's, custom, there's not custom music. But honestly, the music in Mario World is good. It just sucks when you're trying to beat something over and over. And you only have like a 10 second loop of the fucking, or like 30 second loop. Oh, I did the same thing. Shit. Ah, oh, I overshot. Huh? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Let's go. What's next? El Pogo Loco. Yo, can we get some pogs in the chat? Bounce, spin jump, do not touch. Some pogo guys have stronger pogo sticks, so they will bounce higher than usual. Others bounce at the same height. Good. I assume that'd be the case. Well, these guys are fun to jump off. Whee. Uh, it's starting to turn up a bit. Oh, I have the spin jump. I was like, what happened? But that was me. Oh, Pogo Loco. Oh, Pogo. Pogo! <laughs> Exactly, Pillow. Exactly. Can we get up? No! It's literally telling me. No! If only I could read. Cousin can't read. Yeah. All right. It was on this day, Cousin Catnip's Twitch chat discovered that Cousin Catnip does not know how to read. It's a dark day for baseball. I can't forget that the red is bad. Red is bad. It even warned me. It even freaking warned me. Mother three. I won't lie, this fiber bar is like one of the best things I've ever eaten ever. It tastes so good. I don't know why. It tastes like fiber. Mmm. Mmm. Fiber one. It's the, it's like the chocolatey chip drizzly one or whatever. Yo, it's actually so good. It's like soft and chewy. All this kind of shit. Got to shit himself live on stream. I always make sure only to eat one a day. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a Canada brand one. I'm like 99% sure. I fucked up. Yo, you can save it. Nope, I fucked it. I haven't seen it before. Yo, I got all sorts of Canada stuff I can blow your mind with. Like, we, there's not many things that are like, even the American brands are like made in Canada. You know what I mean? Like the stuff that you that we both have. Like mine will be like made in Ontario. That's what I always say. I'm pretty sure like 
food tastes different in different parts of the world. Which, obviously, duh. But, like, even basic fuck. After all that time. But even basic shit like McDonald's and stuff. Although, when I worked at Starbucks, they were, like, they used to brag about how it would always taste the same no matter what. Like, no matter what country you're in, it always tastes like shit. <laughs> Imagine that's what they said. <laughs> uh, are you sure you want to keep that in the training video? Yes. But I mean, it makes sense. If you, if you ship all the stores the same bottles, you know what I mean? If, they're, if it's all the same ingredients in every store, then obviously it's all going to taste the same. I get that. Like, they're all using the same beans and the same all that shit. I got it, but I didn't get it. I'm liking this, uh, more RPG shout-out with these variations. But I've had, like, American McDonald's and Canadian McDonald's, and they, they taste worlds apart. And I've talked about this many times. Like, Canadian McDonald's is actually kind of good. Like, it's not like, oh my god, I'm gonna... It's expensive, though. Like, fuck that. But it doesn't taste, like, bad or anything. I found American McDonald's to just be, like, bad. But I also don't know if I just had it on a bad day. You know, like, because, like, even, like... Like, I'm, like those... Oh, fuck me. I pressed jump, but I was holding it. Like, I've had bad days at a lot of fast food places or whatever. I had White Castle once. I remember that being, like... That might have been the grossest fast food experience I ever had. White Castle in, like, Manhattan, New York. I had- I wanted to try it. My stoner roots had to make me try it, you know? And, uh, that was the biggest disappointment of my life. I was gonna say, I wasn't high or drunk. And I was kind of sitting there like... Hmm. It definitely seems like one of those things where they're probably just open late or something. Right? Or open on... I know, like, Chick-fil-A's only- or not open on Sundays. That kind of shit. We don't have that kind of issue here in Canada. Except for, ironically, the one Chick-fil-A. That's in Toronto. I was gonna say no one goes there, but actually a lot of people go there. Oh, you, you have to hold. I'm oh, sorry, I missed what you said. Uh, Moroccan McDonald's is a completely different menu, but the burger meat tastes exactly the same. Huh. Which is interesting, because I know they source it depending on the country. As Canadian McDonald's will, like, brag. They'll be, like, 100% Canadian, all pure beef. We go to, like, Alberta and fucking shotgun the cow ourselves. Like, they have so many commercials about that kind of shit. Which was funny, because when Mad Cow Disease first happened... Well, not funny, but it was like I, it was like a... Like it's kind of funny now, I guess, in retrospect. But, uh... When it first outbroke... Like, they still had their commercials on, so they're like, Yeah, we, we take the whole cow, and... Yeah, the fucking cow's amazing. We got so many cows. And then, like, the next thing would be like, Mad Cow Disease. Like, taking more people. Do not eat beef right now. Like, that was back when it was, like, first just happening. Yeah, there's pretty much only one. It's pretty much just in Toronto, yeah. Like, it, like I remember when it, like, opened. There might be more now, because it's, like, been a few years. But it, it was only a couple years ago, because I worked, like, kind of near it at the time. I don't work there anymore. Like, not the Chick-fil-A, but, like, at a studio nearby. So I would see the lineup down the street. And it always makes me laugh, because I'm like, I thought we are supposed to boycott it, because if it's, like, anti-gay stuff and all that kind of shit. We also got, like, a ch cheesecake factory, like, a restaurant. And they- and my, mom, my mom actually got to work there for a bit. And they, uh... They tried to do everything, like, American style. And they had, like- they got, like, in so much trouble, because there were so many standards that they weren't meeting or something. Just in regards to, like... I've never had it. And that's usually what I've heard, where people are like, but it's so good. I just haven't had it, because anytime I've- seen it like I, w I would try it just to try it kind of thing you know what i mean well one i don't like live right beside it or anything and anytime i've seen it the, the lineup's like fucking down the street because it's like the only one like i said i, I technically boycott it i've never had it before right like i've never but as a fried chicken aficionado like, i fucking love that shit i don't have it like every day or anything but like you know what i mean like i feel like i have to try it you know 
There's- Oh, what am I doing? Shit. There's stuff like Mary Brown's. The fastest, nicest drive through Oh, shit. I know the location in Toronto is like a- There's no drive through You can only walk in. It's like right in the downtown. Which, I mean, I don't blame them, right? Good foot traffic. That's that's cool to know. That, that was one thing I was impressed. Oh, it was Col Culver's. Culver's I was impressed by. The selection of choices. And, like, the, the free ice cream and everything. Or custard. You're like, oh, wait, you want a number 37? Bro, why is there so many options? Hire gay people so you don't see a problem? Nice. Like, they might have changed their tone. I remember, it was like some shit when they first came out. Or, I don't know. Okay, I want to read the... A Nightbot posted. This is miracle. It's our God-given right not to get out of the car to get food. But I like how you... Like, a lot of the ones in Canada, uh, ours are just, like, the, the two-window ones. You know, you go up to the speaker, then you go up to the guy to hand the money, which they're usually not there. And then you go to the second window, and then, like, you know what I mean? You wait for your food. Sometimes they make you park, but you're usually just getting your food right there. But I thought it was cool how in the States, like, so many of them are, like, you pull into, like, spots, or you take a number or some shit. It seemed, like, l less likely for people to get pissed off. Even if it, like, I guess, is more inefficient overall. I don't know. And obviously not all drive throughs are like that. But you guys also have those crazy bank tubes. At least in the parts of the states I've been in. Where, like, your, your drive through banks have, like, the fucking tubes where you can, like, put, like, a, the fucking thing and it goes up or whatever. I thought those tubes only existed in, like... 90s cartoons. I didn't even know they were like a real thing. But I'm always so fascinated by them anytime I see one. People are always like, dude, they're just fucking tubes. I'm like, why do you have them? Why did I jump? But then I learned that the credit cards in the States. Like, there's so much stuff I've learned in the States where I'm just like, why is it weird? Like, you guys don't have e-transfers, but you have to use, like, a certain app or some shit. Like, Cash App and stuff like that. Like, I can just transfer from, from my bank to another bank, like, in two seconds. And, like, it doesn't matter. For free. At any point. It takes, like, a second for it to happen. Of course, I also don't have Cash App, so I, I can't get all that free money on Twitch. Yeah, guys, like I said, I've heard about that there's two different apps, right? Like, but the, the thing with mine is, like, each respective bank has their own app. So, like, like I'm with, like, uh, like, let's say if I'm with TD Bank, I would use my TD Bank app and then e-transfer with that. You know what I mean? Like, directly, like, in my banking account. Like, I just, like, do it. But like you're saying, you just, it sounds like the same thing with Zell. It sounds like the exact same thing. It's just, it's like you said, it's probably just, like, a, a knowledge thing at this point. I just found it fascinating that it wasn't already, like... you think that'd be, like, the first thing the bank would want to implement. Whoops, I did that backwards. I'm, like, having, like, a dyslexic moment right now. I'm, like, going for the opposite colors. That's always the worst when, uh... Ever watch, like, a big streamer? And they're like, alright, everyone, get your cash app ready. Who wants to just randomly win, like, a hundred bucks for no reason? I'm like, man... Only available to the U.S. Oh, man. I'm thinking about uh, thinking about chicken sandwiches. That's my Chick Fil A. I only know it because of the Kanye song. Yo, I still can't believe, like, after all this time. How hard Chance the Rapper fucked up. Like, just in regards to, like, doing the complete opposite of what his fans wanted for his debut. Basically, like, it was a couple years ago, 
he didn't like he fucked up his career basically but uh fuck like i get the timing but i have to like time it a bit later uh he released his debut album he's done mixtapes for years but a couple years ago he released his debut album called the big day um and up to this point uh his first album was called 10 day which was him uh when he got it suspended from high school for 10 days um and like just kind of like songs it was like during that time period of his life so you know it's gonna be like really like degenerate kind of shit you know like kicked out fuck y'all it's really good music it's really good shit uh most of his production being on point fuck i'm like doing it backwards every time now um but wait i already know i can make that jump without having to do that um, so anyway, so, he, and then the second album was called Acid Rap, where it was him, uh, on drugs, like, just making an album, pretty much. Again, amazing album. More, like, degenerate kind of shit, just like, you know, like, where his life is after being a high school dropout, and all this kind of shit. Uh, his third album was called Coloring Book. Or, sorry, not album, but his mixtape. And that was the one that, like, won a Grammy. And, like, he kind of added, like, a little bit of gospel to it. Um, but it still had, like, the same sort of, like, uh, sort of insight and, like, like, a lot of the songs were, like, very smart up until this point, where, like, they would talk about, you know, like, oh, let's get fucked up and shit, but he would, like, have at least, like, a good understanding of how to, like, use good similes and metaphors and all that kind of shit, or, like, interesting concepts. Um, he was on a lot of features, did a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of, like, famous people. Oh, I forgot to jump a day! Fuck. Um, like I said, won a Grammy for this album. Like, toured, like, blows up. Or, not the album, mixtape. Uh, then, uh... Every everyone's hyping up, like, yo, he's gonna release his actual first album. Like, you know what I mean? Like, in-store, CD, whatever type of shit. Um, and so he's about to release his album. And, uh... He releases samples, you know, oh my god, what am I doing? It looks good, sounds good, you know what I mean? Like, things are looking good. The album comes out, it ends up being just sort of like this, like... It just sounds rushed. Like, the production's kind of just whatever. Uh, all the bars... Kind of... It almost reminds me of a Wiz Khalifa album. Well, there's like a few topics he talks about. Uh, the general meme that came out of it was that he loves his wife. Because pretty much every song, it was about his marriage to his wife. So the whole thing was, like, the big day of his life, of getting married. Um, and so as a concept album, it's like, you know, there's interesting things. But he ended up just, like, making a really long album with no real point. There's a few good songs on it, but it's, like, 20 songs. And, like, up to this point, he was pretty consistent. And it just sounded like ass. The mixing was weird. He even admitted that he just, like, didn't try and was unfocused. He ended up firing his manager that... It, uh, was the person who uh, got him up to this point. Like his first four mixed or three mixtapes and all the features, all that shit. He, and then, then the manager tries to sue him because he's like, dude, you fucked up and you're trying to fire me over it. Like you can't just fire me because you fucked up. And then it becomes this huge fucking thing where like he, he goes on Twitter and then tells all his fans to eat a dick. You can find this whole thing. There's like news articles about him where he literally told his first fan ever to go eat a dick. And then every person who's talking to him, he's like, oh, go eat a dick. Oh, go eat a dick. Go eat a dick. And then he tried to embrace the meme by saying, I love my wife. And like tried to like make shirts and jokes and shit. And then just people are just like, what the? F like he like went like giga Chad fucking dumbass. Because basically it sounded like he just fucked up. He didn't want to like, because people were saying he had a bit of an ego. So it sounded like his ego got bigger than his talent or something. You know what I mean? Like, it sounded like he kind of just, like, half-assed it. And then, like, can't admit it to himself that he did. And then if, all, if every single fan is, like, mocking your album and, like, like he used to, like, people, like, you don't understand. Like, he, he sounded like he, like, I, I was a big fan of him still, I guess. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know what he's doing. And then, yeah, like, what the fuck's happening? I don't even know. I'm just so confused. It's like, I got muscles like Super Saiyan trainer. Real, real rare like Super Saiyan manga. I actually like Hot Shower, but I can't deny that it definitely sounds like a, like a song I would have written when I was 14. Like, I think that's why I like it. It sounds like one of my like early rap songs when I was like first starting out rapping. Hot damn, hot shower, hot flower. Gone for an hour. 
And then, but, but before this, he was spitting some like really complicated bars. Like, he, like I said, he, like a year or two before this, or even the songs leading up to it, he had songs that were still like well written. Like even if he just took the five songs that he uh, like he showed off before the album came out, like the Inglewood and Humber Side, whatever the fucking all those ones, he would oh shit, he would have been he would have been fine. It would have at least brought up the quality. There's like two Nicki Minaj features for no reason. I don't even, it, like, why is Nicki Minaj even here? Not that she's like, she was pretty good on Kanye's album, on uh, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. So I know she can like do some shit, you know? But it was like, that's kind of what, because to me it was weird because it's supposed to be like, I love my wife. And like, okay, I get the concept. You know what I mean? Like, it's your marriage, all this stuff. Then he has a song about cheating on his girl. Well, that one where it's like the the side chick song or whatever. I, I I think that's probably one of the better songs on the album. But he has a whole song dedicated to his side chick about the side chick and how the side chick's so cool. And I know it's supposed to be like, fuck, what am I doing? It's supposed to be like, I don't need the side chick. But you're still making a song about the side chick. You know what I mean? Like inadvertently, he's kind of made a song about your side chick. Like I think he just got a little like clouded. And it wasn't even like producers meddling or anything. Because he he had he had the dick swinging power. They like said he won the Grammys, he had like sold out tour. Like he was able to call the shots with this. So he didn't have to shit out an album. He could have taken his time. They would have given him fucking like three years if they want if he wanted. You know what I mean? They would have there's so many things that he could have done. Because he had like the the clout at the time. So it's kind of fascinating, the whole thing. But yeah, so he kind of turned on everyone, including himself, his fans, his manager. <laughs> like, he kind of, yeah, kind of. And, and I've read, like, interviews about it, and, like, people were saying how during the process, he was, like, you know, not paying attention, all this stuff. I think he was just excited about his wedding, and he kind of forgot that, like, planning a wedding and, like, getting married and all that stuff, like, takes a lot of time and attention. Especially if you're not going to, like, hire someone. And even if you do hire someone, you still have to, like, you know, moderate it. You know, make sure they don't fuck it up, essentially. Kinda. But like I said, he, and people, like I said, we gave him so many benefits of the doubt, like the fan base. And then he was like, eh, fuck the manager, eat a dick, everyone eat a dick, you eat a dick. It's like, alright. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like... Hmm. Bro, just say you fucked up. <laughs> you know? <laughs> nice! We did it. We were kind of at the end that whole time. And also the entire tone of the album. Remember I was describing the mixtapes? They were all kind of like, not degenerate music, but you know, like... Uh... Like rebellious music, I'd say. Like some modern day hippie kind of shit. And then the the album's more like gospel preacher, like like don't do drugs type of shit. And I'm like, I don't think your fan base is, that you just told to do acid is gonna be cool with the let's not let's go to sermon right now. You know, you know what I mean? I don't know. Looks like Bowser's aim has gotten a lot better. His fireballs will be aimed at your position. Yeah, exactly, right? It's like when a Twitch streamer actually Twitch is probably the only platform where someone says fuck you to their fans and they get more money. I think it's literally the only platform where that's a thing. Every top streamer, I swear, they just insult their fans and they're like, oh, here's more money. Take my money. I know not every top streamer, but you know what I'm saying. The famous ones that you can think of. <laughs> the funny thing is, we all probably thought of like five different streamers. When I said that. Okay, this part isn't too hard. I just was just kind of overwhelmed. Ludwig. I wasn't even thinking about... See, I wasn't even thinking about Ludwig. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's when you know. It's like, there's so... <laughs> when it happens that much. Oh, they were both mushrooms. But I know that's also like a thing, right? Like... Some, like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like a joke. In the sense of, like, some people like, you know, degrading humor. 
Or like poking fun at themselves and that kind of shit. So I know a lot of it's that for a lot of people. Where it's like they're laughing at themselves kind of thing. Like, yeah, I am an idiot giving me money. <laughs> but then I, I think it's funny that I'm like... So if you realize it... <laughs> at least to the, the big people, it's like... Even they will be like, I already, I'm already rich, why are you giving me money? They also all say that as well. Which is usually why they start calling them idiots, so... I guess I see the train of thought. <laughs> I guess I, I can see how they got to their conclusion. I thought it was going to go to the left for some reason. Uh, I don't trust the Potabos. Oh, I should have not trust that thing. Exactly. That, no, that's what I'm saying. Twitch is the, the only platform. You know what I mean? Where you can do that. Because T-Pain on Twitch, he can joke around and poke fun at his fans. You know what I mean? He, he often just does really cool shit with his fans. From the clips and stuff I've seen. He's usually pretty, like, he's a pretty cool dude. Uh, but I've also seen the clips too where he's been like, you know, freaking out at people and shit. But if he did that on like Twitter and shit, they'd, there'd be like news articles and shit like T-Pain fucking goes off on Twitter user. Of course, I don't actually read like normie news. But for all I know, maybe there is articles <laughs> about all these people. I think that's why Soldier Boy's done so well here. Like, his most famous clip is, you know, turn down your headphones, I ain't your dad. Y'all acting like a bunch of hoes. But to be fair, that was just good t comedic timing. And I don't think he was trying to be funny. Which makes it kind of funnier. I was gonna say, I, I can't tell if it's just, like, he's embracing... I, I, obviously, like, some... Like, he's... People have told him at this point that, like... It's both laughing at him and with him, and I don't- I don't even know anymore. Oh, I tried to time that, and I fucked up. I can't even tell, honestly. But I'm saying, he's making, like, making bank, though. So, shit. Oh, I, I- actually, funny enough, I was thinking about that. And then I was like, maybe he's not making bank. Right after I said he's making bank, I was just like, but he is getting sued for his, that shitty console and all that stuff. And probably some other shit I don't even know about. So, <laughs> hmm. Hey, we do have to wait. I, I know we've done this before, but now I'm just trying to, like, memorize it. We gotta at least beat the cast. Actually, no, we got tons of time. We're good. Yeah, that Soldier Boy console shit was ridiculous. Ugh. Oh. I tried to be fancy. It almost worked. But, uh... I just personally can't wait for GTA role-playing to, to go away. I feel like everyone's just doing it now. I mean, people have been doing it for a while. But it's like, oh my god. I wish I could get more invested in it. You know what I mean? I feel like there's just, it's just too, it's just too much to know. It's like a full-time job at this point, just to learn about it. Like, the current people and everything. And then half the time, they're just, like, in jail or some shit. Of course, I say this, and also watch... Yeah, I was gonna say, it's... I've, I found it interesting with him because, like... He just kind of gave up on Mario, I guess? Even though there's literally Grand Poo World 3 coming out. But I've noticed Barb kind of slowed down working on it, too. So I'm like, I wonder if he's kind of like, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, everyone's just kind of like, bro. <laughs> I can't speak for him. I have no idea what he thinks. Yeah, ever since that, like, there's just, I don't even know anymore. All his viewers? That's not true. Because he he's not even close to his usual peaks. As someone who's, like, you know, who's watched him on and off for years and stuff. Usually he's, like, on the two to 3,000 with Mario. GTA, 
when he first started, he barely even, he couldn't even get a thousand. And he even made a tweet about that being like, well, I, this is the lowest I've ever gotten or whatever. The lowest amount of views I've ever gotten in the, in the one day. Like shit, whenever people don't watch my shit, that's usually a sign to me never to do that again. I don't know. Not never, but you know what I mean. And obviously there's, there's, there's always an adjustment period. Oh yeah, you like wrestling, so you actually know like what he's talking about and shit. Cause that—that's the only thing too. Is like I'm not like in the wrestling scene, so a lot of it goes over my head or whatever. And I mean, he's not literally a wrestler, but you know what I mean. Like, like a lot of what the joke is. But I haven't seen enough to form an opinion like that. Like if it's good or bad or whatever. I just kind of wa like I'll watch for like five minutes and then, like I said, I'll get like kind of combination of overwhelmed. Hoping that something good's gonna happen. I know it's, again, it's like, you can't just hope something good's gonna happen, but. Yeah. At least with XQC, he's usually in a fucking car chase. Of course, but he also does like 30 hour streams of it. I, I don't know how he's alive. Did I see him gambling? How much money did he lose? I've only, I've seen a few streamers gamble. I don't, that, that's, it's a weird new meta, but it, I'm kind of down for it, because it's kind of, I kind of like the real life shit. He made a bunch, oh shit. What games was he playing? I mean, I feel like he's not stupid, considering he's been like top competitive and all that kind of shit. Has a idea of how to run his Twitch channel and stuff like that. Of course, he also lost to Ch Charlie or or whatever Moist Critical and fucking like five moves at one time. So hey, <laughs> he's never gonna live that down. Right, I want to read what this was. He was playing back blackjack without knowing the rules and winning a time. Oh my god! Oh no, I think I did see some of that. I think I did see some of that. Cause I think I remember being like, this man has no idea what he's doing. It's dropping like that. That was the only thing I'm like, this is a really cool idea. Like, I actually kind of like this real life. You know, you kind of feel like you're at the casino, but you can like be in your underwear kind of thing. I don't mean that in a fucking sexual way, but you know what I mean? Just like casual. You don't have to be fucking like in the casino and like worrying about all that kind of shit. I, I don't know the rules. And so do I. I thought you were doing a fucking, uh, Never gonna give, never gonna give. Yeah, you're going to Vegas. I forgot about that. Well, I didn't forget, but I, it's so soon. How, like, so I know in Vegas, as long as you're gambling, you get free alcohol, right? Like, as long as you're, like, in a casino, like, playing slots or some shit. They'll just, like, keep giving you drinks. Like, obviously, you probably have to tip for it. Is that true? Depends on what you're betting. <laughs> Sorry, sir. We don't give the free drinks to the to the petty sluts. I feel like sometimes not knowing is kind of fun. But a lot of the games are luck anyway, so knowing the rules or not doesn't really matter. As obviously evident by XQC. Because a lot of it just comes down to, like, yes or no. Uh, yes? There's about at least a thousand. Yo, some people... I For me, like, I would probably have a thousand bucks for the whole trip or something. And even that, I'd feel, like, really fucking, like, oh my god, I'm actually gonna spend this much. Like, I, even that would be, like, I don't even know if I'd spend that much. But I can't imagine dropping that, like her like hand i'm also not like rich as fuck or anything but even if i was like rich i think I'd, there's too much of like a frugal side of me that would be like bruh <laughs> hey let's go okay i was like will that kill us it will not a thousand per free drink, though. Holy shit. At that point, you can buy so many drinks for that. Obviously, you're not going there for the free drinks, but... Iron Toss. All right.
<laughs> you said no. Wait, wait. Last time you were in Vegas, you got offered a drink. You're confused in how it works, so you said no. Wait, wait. How does it work? Now I want to know. Just so I don't get confused. Or did you think she was like a prostitute or something? You like shoved a 10 down her bra and like got kicked out? You don't know? You'll let me know? <laughs> exactly. All right, cool. Yeah, you gotta give them like one of these like crazy hand signals. Man, it took me forever to figure it out. What if I shook your hand like this? Oh. Well, now we got the custom music. This song never gets old to me. Famous last words. What are you doing? Oh, he uh, arced it. Oh man, the fiber's coming up. <laughs> oh, this fiber. Oh, I messed up my jump. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Shit, now your mouth. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Is that against TOS? I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't say anything about shitting out your mouth in it, so I think we're in the clear, boys. <laughs> new new trend is taking over. It's not hot tub streams. In fact, it's a small streamer who's grown who's blown up recently for shitting out of his mouth while playing Mario World ROM hacks. No one knows why it happens, but all they know is at some point during the run, he will shit out of his mouth. Some say it's the Fiber One bars he's been eating. Since no one's from Canada here at Twitch, we will never know. Look about the biggest though is compared to le is legal weed. Yo! How does Atlanta not have legal weed? What? Wouldn't that what? How many songs are from Atlanta about weed? I feel like it's like one of your main exports, or it used to be. <laughs> like what? I was gonna say it's. A l oh yeah, I forgot. There's it's like that mix of like super like super conservative and then like minorities and shit, and then it's like the clash of classes and all that shit. I forgot about all that shit. I always forget, like, how bad it can be sometimes there. Like, in regards to, like, just racial bullshit and all that. Blue of the red. Yeah, because, yeah. Because that's what it is. Yeah, because you're, like, in the middle of, like, the part that's supposed to be, like, smart. Or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, not. Like, that, un like, just at least in this situation, I feel like most countries, provinces, territories, states, understand that like oh we can like use this money like the bajillions of dollars that will come in forever forever to fix like our country or fix our state or fix our roads or fix whatever like for literally nothing like we literally do like nothing and suddenly we have like a million extra dollars <laughs> or millions of dollars and people are so against it and it's already happening i, I should I, I forgot to mention that part for a thing that's literally already happening. You know what I like? I don't know. I don't understand if it's like talking about legalizing like crack or something like that. That gets a bit more complicated. Especially because it's not, you know, helping people survive and stuff like that. <laughs> but isn't Biden trying to like federally do it anyway? Crack, crack helps me survive, like... I think we have a, a pretty strong correlation between all the things. Like, it's pretty rare to find someone to be like, man, I shouldn't have smoked that weed. Like, not like in a... Usually it's like in a joking way or in like a... Or the... I won't, Okay, I've had a few friends who... Actually, it's the same friend. One time... Oh my god, I forgot about this. Oh my god, I forgot about this story. I've never told it on stream. 
But, uh... He's against it, but the Senate's gonna try and overrule him. Oh, yo, fuck him! What the hell? Wasn't that, like, one of the things that, like, why people got him in? I didn't- I wasn't following it that closely. I assumed that was, like, one of the easiest- I figured that'd be the easiest alley-oop for him ever. For his political campaign. The easiest fucking, like, free vote ever. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Like, Canada style, almost. Ours is fucking- we have to go to the government with ours. But you can still grow up the four plants. But okay, so check this out. When I was in a university, I had a friend. We'll call him M. And so M was a huge Nas fan. Like, you know, the rapper Nas. Um, and so Nas was actually going to be playing at our university. You know, like, one of those university concerts where, like, they just happen to play. Like, this is back when, like, they actually would have, like, good guests. Yes. You ever, anyone ever heard of this rapper named Nas? Na Nas? I believe he said hip-hop was dead once. But, uh... Anyways, um... My, uh... Fuck, I closed my eyes right when it shot. Uh, so we were gonna go see a concert that was at the university grounds. Like, I think it was, like, you know, one of the university-sponsored tours or whatever. And, uh, as we're going there... We get off the bus, and we end up jumping, bumping into a friend, uh, this dude named Jackie, and, uh, and then we knew him from, we knew him from a, we knew him from a party we went to that was downtown at a hotel, and it was with a bunch of, like, drama kids, and, like, we ended up, I ended up hanging out with these people a few times. The set, uh, the first time we ended up bumping into a prostitute, and like it was, man, that was some weird shit. I forgot about some of this shit. Oh my god, my one friend got in trouble for climbing a tree. No, I don't think, I don't think that friend was the one who was there for the Nas concert. That was a different friend. So, anyways, back to the story about the Nas thing. So we bump into, we bump into Jackie, and Em's just like, yo, we have to get to the concert, and I'm like, yo, but Jackie says he has beer and weed and shit. Like, we can't go to a concert, like, sober. Like, what the fuck? And he's like, fine, you got a point. So we spend, like, all this time trying to look for a spot. And we end up just going to a bottom of a fucking, like, stairwell randomly in the university. And just, like, smoking and drinking there. For, like, a while. And, like, I, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't think we drank. I think we only smoked. And so we're smoking or whatever. And my friend's like, yo, we have to go to the concert. And I was like, all right, okay, we're gonna go. And so we, we run there, right? We go to the concert, and we get to the fucking door, and the lady's just like, I'm sorry, but the concert's over. And my friend's just like, what? And, the, and he's like, can we at least go in and, like, talk to him or something? And they're like, sorry, Nas has already left the building. And they, like, shut the door in her face. And my friend looked at me, and he's like, weed broke my heart today. And I, I remember, like, laughing so hard. And I, I wasn't trying to laugh, like, to make fun of him. I only laughed because, like, I wasn't expecting the most poetic shit ever to be said about it. We broke my heart today. And, uh... He, he always had, like, a... <laughs> I swear he never, like, was as excited about weed again after that. Although he works at a dispensary now. Or he used to. I don't know if he still does. A lot of my friends just work at dispensaries, because it pays really fucking well. But, uh... We're not really well, but you know what I mean? It pays, like, well for, like, an easy job. Well, I mean easy, like, yeah, not easy, easy. You know what I mean, like, you don't have to fucking account a book or anything. You're just, like, sell them weed. But, uh... There was the time, that same friend, years later, years later, this was only like a couple years ago, I think 2019, um, we went to this uh, comedy lounge. Uh, Armored Pig uh, was the person who like knew the person and all this stuff. It was kind of like a private place. And this was before like, yeah. But, um, but you know, it was, it was legal. It was 2019, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyways, we're at this lounge and uh, it's like so comedians come on and tell jokes and shit. And, like, usually, 
what happens is the comedians get really fucking paranoid because they end up thinking they suck because they're really high, but also because we're in like a weed lounge. They can't like, the acoustics kind of suck. So people are laughing and also people are just high. So they think they're bombing, but really people are just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like people are just like, <laughs> so they always like nine out of 10 times, the comedian always just starts spiraling into some like, you know, some like, fuck me, I fucking suck kind of shit. Cause like they think they just fucking suck or something. Cause no one's laughing, but people are laughing. It's just, everyone's high. So anyways, my friend was there and he, and he tells me that he's like not feeling well. So I was like, all right, man, I'm like, yo, go to the washroom or something. And like, you know what I mean? Like, and he's like, all right. he's like, all right. But he, I felt kind of bad. Cause he actually was asking me for help. Trying stand up. Yo, that'd be amazing. Toronto has a huge stand up community. So you'd be able to tour there. So I know they have like houses and stuff where like stand up because they were talking about that. They're like, yeah, this were you, st were you staying at that stand up house? Like where you know all the other stand ups are? And, like, the ho it's, like a, it's like a stand up hostel. Not like in a scary way, although it's probably a little scary. But what I'm trying to say is, it sounds like there's like different touring abilities. <laughs> Guess where I am, bitch. That'd be amazing. I'd, yo, I'd totally go to the show. I have a friend group that like loves going to comedy shows. Like, weed related or not. But that lounge doesn't exist anymore. Unfortunately, COVID. COVID took a lot of things like that in Toronto. Um, but. So my friend, that same friend, that the M friend, not Armored Pig, but this other friend, they, uh, So yeah, they told me they're not feeling well. They, they, I, I watch him walk towards like the bathroom and he goes like, and like just drops down and I'm like, oh fuck. And so we like, we all get up, we try to help him. And so we go outside and oh my God, I this part was kind of funny. Uh, so we go outside and they're like helping the guy on, like we're, we're helping him on the bench. And we're like, you know, people are like, dude, are you okay? Like you, you probably can't stay here if you're like this. And after they said that, we look to our right, and there's actually a homeless guy sleeping in a doorway. And the homeless guy, like, looks at us, and he's just like, I have to go? Like, he said something like that. And then they were like, no, 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 like, you don't have to go, sir. You're, you're totally fine. Continue sleeping. This, this guy has to go. <laughs> Who passed out. <laughs> and I remember being like, damn, even the homeless guy getting more respect around here. Damn. <laughs> But no, we, we, and our friend actually biked there. So he's like, what about my bike? We're like, dude, you can't bike home. I'm like, what the fuck? You'll literally die. We're like, no, no homeless, sir. You, you're, you're fine. Got it. Nailed it. But the song sounds like it's gonna be a banger. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Oh, I'm dumb. I thought it was going to go slower. But the yellow means fast. Yellow means fast. Bup, 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 bup. Bup, bup, bup. Bup, 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 bup. bup. Bup, 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 bup. I'm surprised you made that. Bup, 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 bup. Hey. Oh, I was slow. That was, I gotta remember to go fast. Up, 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 up. Huh. Huh. 
Well, super fast. I know, I... My brain's just, like, r realizing it now. Oh! Oh, I, that counted? That's silly. We weren't even on it. Song's a banger. When does this game save? I'm assuming it saves every level. But then what's the point of the lives? If you have to do every level in one... One take anyway. Hmm. So that hasn't asked us to save it all yet. I mean, we're pretty far in, let's say. Woo! Let's go! Huh? Ah! Huh? Ah! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Hey! Let's freaking go! Arithmetic meaning. No A! But I love A! But I love A! Let's go! It's a fun little level. Oh! Just making, making big dumbs. Not small dumbs, big dumbs. I appreciate the music becoming bangerific. got saved by the next platform but I yeah I did everything wrong it's literally everything wrong Song's a banger. Like I know what game it's from, but I can't remember right now. Maybe like Home Improvement or something like that. It might actually be Home Improvement. Oh, we're dead. You know everyone's favorite Super Nintendo game. Home Improvement. Mush. Ow. Why did I do that? I was like, alright, perfect. Time it up perfectly. What am I doing? I've lost all my skill. I've lost everything. Uh, I think my brain broke. Were we at the three and a half hour mark? Sounds about right. My brain broke. Come on, we gotta beat this. Oh, 
Oh, I wonder if, because we're on beginner, it just will save every level. But if you're on the mode with lives, maybe it only saves after the castles or some shit. I wonder. No, I missed! All I had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Why have I forgotten how to play the game? Why have I forgot- I've forgotten how to play Mario! It's all- it's all gone. Just all- all gone. That's it. GG. Hang up my towel. It was a good run, everyone. You must visualize, actualize, become the buzzsaw, become the meme. I did that again! I did that last time too. No! I had one job. Okay, I'm just falling apart at the seams right now, apparently. Gotta go back to taking pictures of Pokemon butts. So it's our first time checking out this level. We've never been here before. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's got saws and platforms. Fuck. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the host. I hope you're doing well. We are making our way. Through nothing. Through saws and chaos. And fuzzies that will probably kill me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. First try. I tried to spin jump. I'm glad I stopped though. Progress. Progress. I had one job. I had one job, chat. Couldn't even do it. Couldn't even do it. Couldn't even do it. Da -da -da -da. Ow, fuck. Fuck! I'm losing everything. We have to at least beat this level.
We have to at least beat this level. Honestly, the no A is really fucking me up. I won't lie. She basically just have to play it like Mario 1. Good pra it's good practice for the shuffler. I'm terrified of lost levels. Okay. Wait. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's keep going. Huh? Oh. oh, we can spin jump again. What song is this? I don't know if I recognize it. Is this? No! Oh, fuck. We were killing it there. The song was just about to kill it. The song was about to turn up. Damn this song. Wait, what song is this? I feel like I know it, but I can't remember why I know it. How do I know it? A real life song. Uh, uh. The only song I've been flagged so far on YouTube for is uh, when I played the community game. It played uh, an 8 bit version of an ABBA song and uh, it recognized it. It's like, you played this ABBA song. I was like, bruh, ABBA needs to chill. It's not even their song. It's like not even like it is, but it's not like the it wasn't like the real version. Telling me covers? They own they own everything? I know they get a percentage. Damn. Not that I can monetize, but it's funny. Oh, I guess. That hit us? Here we go. All right, all right. All right.
Good. Should have just killed the shell. Should have just killed the fucking shell. I was trying to kill the fishing boo. Like a champion. Huh? Fuck. Getting too excited. Reeling in the blue. Whoops. It's gonna be that thing, boy. We'll make progress, lose progress. Make lose more progress. Lose make even more progress. Make lose everything. Fuck! That sucks. It like took the input, but I didn't press it or like I pressed it before. Oh, whatever. It's always gotta be fishing booze. Always gotta be fishing booze. Wow, that was dumb. Like on my part. Fuck. I can't tell if we're close or not. I can't tell how much longer. I feel like I keep dying near the end of these levels. Whenever I do get past the part. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So you're saying there's a chance. I forgot to spin jump! I realized as I pressed jump. Shit. Shit. Uh, I got cocky. You don't want to get cocky. Bad things happen. When you get cocky. All right. Beautiful scenic sky. Beautiful scenic fire. Cozy music. Fuzzy's vibing. I almost did it again. No! Fuck. That was a dumb jump. No! I almost lost it all there. Woo!
Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh. Uh, you know what? We're good. We're good. I'm out of here. GG. Hey. Let's go. Oh, shit, a castle. Himeji Castle. FF6 music air ship. I didn't ask for an airship song. We're always the worst song in the game. I fucked up. But it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm fuck. I'm down for the outdoor castle. I fucks with that. I'll, I'll play. Play your little game. Oh, uh. No, I undershot. Boom, ba -da -da. All right. Wow. Game just said, fuck you. No, I opened a shot again. I think because it flips. So when it flips, I just have to like, just be more over. Oh. Right, right, good. Oh, we're sitting pretty this time. Nice. Oh. Fuck it. No, I undershot. Just undershooting. Premature jumpulation. That's gotta hurt. Yo. 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 Yeah. Nice. See, I didn't need no mushroom. Spin jump. I was like, what are we doing? What's going on? Uh, don't know. Jump, bro. Perfect. All according to plan. <laughs> Fuck off. I feel like I'm close, but I don't know if I'm close or not. I th think I am? Question mark? I also got a few things I want to do today. Clearly I'm distracted.
pressed it, but I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> I pressed it, but I guess it doesn't matter. Alright. That's that good shit. Oh, yeah. Double. Trip. You ain't never seen Trip Koopa like that in your life. Oh. Let's go. Game. Why? All right. Okay. Doing good. Watch the fish. Nice. Didn't even get touched. That feeling when you do the wrong jump. That feeling when. Just keeps going. It just keeps going. Well, that was lucky. All right. What time is it? Four oh eight. Let's do three more tries. I can just feel my focus starting to go too. And if I'm not focused, nah. That was a good run, too. The worst part about that. That'd be such a good run. Alright. Dodge. Jump. 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 Spin. Ooh. Getting cocky.
All right, last try for now. We'll come back to this. I want to finish this hack. Last try for today. Make that jump. All right. Let me just save. Yes, save. Good. And let's. Pretty sure the game auto saves. But I'll just check like the Yoshi house. I think they just said it was just like a bonus place or whatever. She's Lodge. Make sure it's not like a safe place. Yeah, no, I didn't think there was. That was just some of the other hacks. In fact, we could check. Oh, yeah. Zero, imagine. Oh, we got eight, though. We've got... Let's pause the timer. Boom. 131.51 so far. This has been Nachos and Fried Oreos. Part one of our adventure. So far, pretty fun Kaizo hack. I like how it started pretty, like, manageable. And then slowly kind of dipped your balls into the lava. I like that. I appreciate that. Um, I like the option of lives and the different settings. I like the idea of still having... You know, Mario elements, the HUD and some of the mushrooms and that kind of stuff. But still keeping it, you know, challenging and fun. But yeah, I 